Sega. Hello, Mr. Nealon here. Welcome to a new Let's Play. We are playing Valkyrie uh, Chronicles. Valkyria Chronicles. Strategy game. So there are four games in this uh, in this uh, game series. There are like two games for the PlayStation Portable, one game for the PlayStation 3 and one game for the PlayStation 4. I have all four games. I have never played them before. played a little bit of the second game for the PlayStation Portable. But I didn't want to start with that one, so I played a bit and I used to try it out. Then I decided to start with the first game, Valkyria Chron Chronicles. Game that I've owned for years, I believe already back in 2013, 2012, I owned this game. I bought it in the store and I have never played it. For some reason I thought it was interesting when I read on the covers, I bought it back then. 
and then I never actually played it because it's single player and on console I usu usually play multiplayer games with friends and relatives otherwise I usually do not play console anymore and instead uh, would play like Medieval 2 on the computer or something else like Final Fantasy 7 Diablo 2 or something uh, anyway I decided to play my old games that I've never played or never finished uh, PC games and console games and handheld games and in the Valkyria Chronicles series I want to start the first game I enjoyed the second game played a few missions there so I will probably play through the entire series I have all the games uh, and uh, <coughs> I believe that I bought the, the, the fourth game a year ago or so in the store as well okay so we'll start the first game it's a strategy game for the PlayStation 3 a turn based strategy game we'll see The year was 1935 EC. Two powers controlled the continent. In the east, the sun rose over the autocratic East European Imperial Alliance, otherwise known as the Empire. In the west, a network of loosely allied democracies formed the Atlantic Federation. Both powers depended on a precious mineral ragnite for their survival and its growing scarcity led to the inevitable war. Hostilities began in the east when the Empire aggressively crossed their western border. The Atlantic Federation responded, and the Second European War was on. The Empire, with its vast military superiority, struck hard gaining ground in early victories and putting the Federation on the defensive. Emboldened by their progress and momentum, the Empire set their sights beyond the borders of the Federation. In neighboring Gallia, a peaceful principality along the sea, they found their next victim. Gallia had long maintained its neutrality in the tensions between the two superpowers. But the rich stores of Ragnite under the Gallian soil proved too tempting for the Empire. It amassed troops along the eastern border and invaded with all the force of an avalanche. All right. Prologue. Gallia to arms. A new episode has been added. Okay. I never played this game, but I played the second game a bit, and uh, you do missions, you pick your um, like squad, and, and then you do turn-based real-time battles. It's really interesting, but I believe it, there will be better graphics in the first game, because it's for the PlayStation 3, instead of the PlayStation Portable. PlayStation Portable or PSP, it's like a PlayStation 2 in graphics. Slightly worse, but if I use the emulator, the PPSS PP emulator, then... Uh, has 10 times the graphics of the PSP. Uh, however, this game is for the PlayStation 3, but I'm using a tool. The, it's like a recording device that I bought. Uh, so uh, I am actually playing on my real PlayStation 3 using that device. I have it connected to the computer through the XSplit program and the Bandcamp. Okay. So prologue, Galliot Arms, a meeting. We'll click there. View this episode, yes. March, 1935. Outside the Gallian border town of Brule. Residents are leaving the town before the invasion, headed inland towards the capital. I haven't been down this 
this road in years. It really hasn't changed very much. Whoa. Already? Hey there, guys. You're beautiful. Starting early this year. You're heading upstream, huh? How's the water? Freeze! Put your hands in the air. Slowly. I haven't seen you around before. What's your name? Um, uh, my name's Welkin, and you are... The one with the gun. We're with the Brutown Watch. I'm Alicia. Alicia Melchiot. So, I'm wondering what you've been writing in that little book you've got there. Imperial spies are in the area. <laughs> this book is nothing, really. Uh, I was just sketching the fish, and, uh, you know... Uh... <laughs> yes. Oh, I know. And you know there's a war on, don't you? All right then, Mr. Artist. We'll talk about fish sketching down at the station. Take him away. Uh, uh, thanks, fish. New episode has been added. So... Uh... <clears throat> the PlayStation 3 title seems to have more of a story than the second title, which is more mission based, it's a weaker system, so I expect more videos and more amazing features in the PlayStation 3 title. Okay, I don't remember what year this game was from. <clears throat> but anyway, continue. So it takes place in an alternate like World War 1 or World War 2 era. 1930s so it's like World War 2 but I don't believe they have all the gear of World War 2 I don't believe they have planes they do have the tanks and the infantry and such okay and uh, as you saw it's like anime World War 2 in an alternate reality okay a prologue galliot arms the imperial attack uh, next chapter do this episode yes Bugs and fish. You're not bad with a pen, are you? I have to say, they're really very good. Thank you. So you see, I really was just sketching. Maybe. Or this could be some kind of secret code. And I intend to take my time finding out for sure. <sighs> Great. Welks? Is that you? Isara! Oh, your timing is perfect. What have you gotten yourself into now, Welkin? Wait... Don't you live at the old General's house? That's right. I'm General Gunther's daughter, Isara. You do know everyone's supposed to evacuate, right? Yes, I'm aware of that. My brother's here to help me move to the capital, but that may be difficult. I mean, unless you're willing to let him go, that is. Huh? I apologize, but I was just doing my job, you know. I saw you with the notebook and thought you were a spy. Again, I'm really sorry about that. Thanks. Don't worry about it. I can see how I might have looked a little suspicious. Wilkes has a real passion for observing nature. That's why he's studying it at the university, right? Guilty as charged. I get so into it sometimes I forget where I am or that somebody might be watching me. <laughs> Gunfire! Everyone, keep your heads down! Over there! <laughs> Come on!
You can handle a gun, right? Yeah. I mean, I made it through training anyway. Well, they're probably just a small scouting team. We should be able to take them out. I'm with you. All right, a new episode has been added. Not saving the game. Open the menu by pressing triangle button and select save to record your progress to the hard disk drive. Okay, saving is a good idea before, during and after any combat operation. Anything can happen out there. Okay. Prologue, galley to arms, encounter at Brule. Okay, encounter at Brule. We will go for that one now. Do this episode, yes. There are probably a lot of videos in the beginning here. Okay, here's the plan. All right. We got to eliminate the Imperial Scouts that are approaching Brule. So now I need to click to remove the text. Uh, we'll deploy from here and take out all three of them. Just cross the bridge and take them down as fast as you can. Our objective here is to eliminate all enemies, so we get like a tutorial now. Tutorial mission. To be, so we are taught the gameplay mechanics of the game. Let's take care of them one at a time, nice and easy. Okay, victory. All enemies are defeated, failure. Welkin dies, Alicia dies, 20 turns pass. Okay, so we need to win in Let's get before 20 turns. Just stay calm and get it done. Yeah, sure. Okay. Player face. It's like a map, that's cool. I see three of them. That's three too many. Stay sharp. This reminds me of the game I played on the PlayStation 1. Tearing Saga, a really cool strategy game, like Fire Emblem, but made by same guess, the same guy that made Fire Emblem a an old strategy game for the believe, Nintendo or Super Nintendo. Uh, I believe um, he, he made five Fire Emblem games, the first five, and then he made Tearing Saga for PlayStation, and that game is like a, an unofficial continuation. In the beginning it had a clear uh, like uh, callbacks to Fire Emblem, but uh, he was forced to remove those uh, because of Nintendo not liking uh, his project, because he was no longer working for Nintendo. Okay, but this game is very similar in, in how they speak between each other before battles and such, you have like uh, portraits where they speak. The difference is that in this game you see them move their eyes and move their mouths and such and they have actual voices. In that game they have like 2D art but it's, it's pretty it's, it was pretty well done. It's like the art uh, moved all the time. Uh, like but you had no voices and you had uh, no moving like yeah, they didn't move their eyes and such, or, or mouths. I believe the, the picture changed a lot, so it looked kind of good anyway. But anyway, this is like that, but it's a modern game. It's not a game for an ancient system. Like those games, they had very, very old 2D graphics. This is modern 3D graphics. Okay, Alicia, that's three too many. Stay sharp. Listen a second. There's something I should explain. All right. About CP command points. When combat starts, you'll see a map of the area and your unit's positions. This is referred to as command mode. Here you'll select the unit you'd like to move based on their position respective to the enemy, then press enter. And by the way, I don't remember the second game having any map like this, so this is new to me. Hopefully we will have really large maps in, in this game. We'll see. Doing so uses up one of the command points CP displayed at the top of the screen. The reflector ability as commander. Okay. Represent the number of times you can give instructions to in essence control your units per each player phase. Okay. In this battle you have three uh, command points. So you can issue instructions to your units up to three times. Okay. Let's try moving a unit now. 
Yeah, in the second game you moved in, in the battles, took turns moving, like in the real time battle, you ha didn't have an, a map where you can move them. In this game you move on the actual map and then it probably turn, uh, will, will uh, take you to a battle when they reach the enemy. I'm not sure, but we'll see. So we have a unit list, menu, uh, if you click on triangle we have a menu, end phase, objective, system. Okay, I'm not interested in doing that. Uh, square, unit list. So Velkin, Alicia, and Tan Watchman. Okay. Here we have some details. Level 1, Tan Watchman. So they can level up the, the troops. And then the heroes do not have level. Okay. Uh, Alicia is uh, level 1 too. Well, Velkin is not a level, so the main character can, can't level up, while the others are level 1, okay. What about the enemy? So we have a scout there as well. You can check their info, they are level 1. We have three of them. Okay, and I don't want to end the phase. I'm ready to go. Don't to move. Ah, now we can move. But AP action points. Use command points to select a unit in command mode. You'll be plunged into action mode. Ah, so in this game you move on the map and then you get into action mode when they move. You, you select the, the characters on the map and then, then they move. Zoom in when you move the character. That's pretty cool. Okay. Here you can freely move the unit you selected around the field. Okay. As you move around in action mode, the action points AP gouge at, uh, at the bottom of the screen will gradually deplete. Yeah. It represents the, that unit's mobility. Once it reaches zero, the unit will be unable to move any further. Yeah. Keeping an eye on the unit's remaining action points for AP while they are in motion is critical to keeping them safe. Yeah, you need to protect them by placing them strategically behind the defensive structures before they run out of their movement points or action points. But now use the left stick to move the unit near the sandbags. Sure. Now the the gauge is moving there, but attacking. Press the R1 button to enter target mode. There, the units will prepare to attack with their current selected weapon. Okay. Use the left stick to move the crosshairs onto an enemy, or the L1 and R1 buttons to snap between targets. Okay. Enemies will not attack while you are in target mode. So take your time to aim well before pressing enter to fire. Yeah, that's good. Your shots will land somewhere within the circle surrounding the crosshairs, so it's best to center it on the entire target. Yeah, shots to the head or, or the or other weak points will result in greater damage. Yeah, the unit can only attack from target mode up to once per, per action. Choose wisely before you open fire. <coughs> if the target survives your attack, they may then launch a counter attack. Okay, a damaged unit may not have the HP hit points to survive the enemy's counter. So be careful when planning your attack. Okay. Now it's time to aim. Uh, so the game will have this weird, like, uh, white, uh, like, uh, foggy thing on the sides. I'm not a fan of that. In the PHP game, we didn't have that. Would have preferred if the entire screen was clear instead of having this white thing on the back there. Maybe it's just an tutorial, hopefully. We'll see. But ending actions, the unit with zero remaining a point, AP or action points that has already performed an attack in target mode is unable to act further. Press cancel to end their current action. This will return you to command mode where you will be able to select the next unit you wish to direct. Okay. You can press cancel and end the unit's action even if they have not attacked and still have action points. Okay. Oh, 
fuck here. You need to crouch. Good. He was firing at me there. You see Velk is held about there. Okay, how do I uh, stop? And the current action, yes. I like the map though. Okay, we'll move Clutching, Elisha okay. next. Okay, so I walk on the dire directional buttons and I run on the, the uh, analog stick, the left analog stick. here she seems to have a, a rifle in the second game there were some um, characters that had like melee and some that had rifles and others had uh, machine guns actually they were very effective I never played enough to get any tanks or anything okay we will uh, fire here good took him out Okay, and now I think yeah, it's not impossible to move further. Ah, we picked up his uh, rifle or something there, I think. Also move this camera around. Cl if we click on the le uh, right analog stick, it will zoom behind the character. L1, some map. Galleon rifle, B type grenades, we have grenades too. Elisha. So, yeah, the graphics are more beautiful on the PlayStation 3, the first game, than it is in the second game on the PlayStation Portable, but that's to be expected. However, I'm not a fan of the, the white uh, stuff surrounding the screen here. Okay. So we have a ragnald grenade. Alright, we don't need that. About using cover. And standing near sandbags the command crouch the command crouch will appear. Press enter to take cover behind them. While hiding behind the cover, units are harder to target, take less damage and are immune to headshots and critical damage. Okay. Meanwhile, units caught out in the open by enemy attacks will be easier to hit and could take significantly more damage. Advance carefully, moving from cover to cover and always try to end your actions safely hidden from harm. Doing so should keep your troops alive long enough to secure victory for Gallia. Okay. Yeah, we do not have enough uh, movement to move all the way over there. So we will try. Can't move anymore. We have to end. Now it's the soldier we need to move him to. Soldier looks like this. So in the later game, we will get to uh, controlling entire squads, including tanks and stuff. Faces and your 
command points reaches zero, the player phase ends and the enemy phase begins. Okay, so they will move now. One player slash enemy phase per, consti uh, per constitutes a single turn. The fewer turns you complete a mission in, the more cash and experience you receive at the end. Being too hasty can lead to unnecessary risks. Okay. The key is to find a challenging balance. Yes, we'll end the phase. Enemy phase. Ah, uh, they took out our scout. Did they? No, we took out their scout. Yeah, they are moving over there. Our guy is firing at them. Stay calm, that's good. They are not sitting ducks. It's our turn again. Using command points effectively. <coughs> when used well, even a limited pool of command points can take out a significant number of foes. Command points can be used on the same unit multiple times. For instance, a pool of three command points can be used to move one unit three times in a row. Pool of three command points can be used to move one unit three times in a row. Perfect for cutting into enemy lines or hurrying past dangerous terrain. That said, people get tired. They'll start each consecutive action with fewer action points than the last, so keep that in mind. If you use the cancel button to end your phase with the command points still remaining, command points will be carried over to the next turn, that's good. Command points are precious resource. Are a precious, res precious resource. How you choose to manage them will decide your fate. Okay, it's our turn. Here we go. Start with the main character. He needs to move. We need to move out of this crouch position. behind this place. Now it's time to attack. Need to aim. So I don't think we can attack again, so we will end the current phase. I will use the soldier. Hurry behind this place. Good. Took him out. Operation complete. Nice. I don't see any more of them. Counter at Brule, combat report. Ace results, clear bonus, enemy leader bonus, enemy ace bonus, enemy tank bonus. Total 200 experience, gained 500 whatever money. Okay, nice. New episode has been added. For low, Galliot Arms, a hilt of promise. Let's view this episode, yes. There's no other sign of the enemy. Good. Now, go keep watch and stay alert. Yes, ma'am. Uh, what should we do with the bodies, ma'am? We'll bury them. So it's begun. I'll do whatever it takes to protect the people of this town. I'll do it. Even going to war, I'll do it. What are those? 
seeds from the lion's paw. It blooms white, small, simple, and strong. I want to be able to remember, once the war is over, that it wasn't all just people killing people. That even in war, there was also new life. On the 15th day of the third month of the year 1935, the Empire began its assault in earnest. A formal declaration of war was made upon Gallia. Though it was only a small front in a massive continental assault, what followed would prove that a tiny nation could best a military giant. These events would tell a story of tragedy hidden in the mists of time. A story of courage and of trust, of persecution and hate. And of love blooming even through the flames of war. What follows is a record of this conflict and of those who fought, lived, and died. Carrier Chronicles. In defense of Bruel. Alright, chapter one. A new episode has been added. Okay, so we've not really played for an hour yet. We played for about 50 minutes, 55 minutes. Uh, and I need to eat about now, but I think we can play for a few more minutes. And do one episode more or so. Let's pick this chapter and view the episode, yes. Seeing that old mill spinning again really makes it feel like home sweet home. Hmm. <laughs> I hear that. It really is one of the most beautiful things about this town. Well, citizens, our enemy can't be far behind. I thank you for your help. Goodbye, and take care. <laughs> How's the packing coming along, East? Almost done. I only need to take the everyday basics. Well, the Empire's got to be close by. Let's hit the road by sundown. Martha, look! Wilkes is here! Oh! <laughs> Welcome back, Welkies! <laughs> You're still calling me that? Martha, I'm 22 years old. And more important, you shouldn't be running around. Aren't you due any day now? Ah, oh, a light jog won't hurt the little spud. <laughs> I should know. I've already had four of them. <laughs> Hello there. Um, I is Welkin in? Oh, hello, Alicia. What brings you here? I just wanted to apologize. For before. Um, here. This is for you. Really? These are for me? I work at the bakery. Well, I did until the war started anyway. It's where I live, too. That's preserved bread, so it's pretty hard. 
Heat it up before you eat it, all right? I baked it myself, so the flavor's guaranteed. Best you ever had. Thanks. Uh, do you want to come in? So, the main character is 22 years old. I was probably 22 years old when I bought this game. I was 22 in 2012. I bought it back then, I believe, or 2013. Arrested and shot at? <laughs> You've had a busy day of it, haven't you, Welkies? It's just been uh, been uh, sitting in my bookshelf. Never played it, so it's time to play it. I paid for it after all. Okay, and it's uh, I like the, the the second game, but the, what little I played of it. So. And I, I think it's a gorgeous game. I like you know Japanese anime manga and stuff. I haven't watched a lot of anime in the last decade, but I, I used to like it in the early 2000s and such, and up until maybe the 2010s, 2011 there, around there. Okay, so uh, I like the style of this game and it has an interesting story and such. Okay, uh, rested and shot at her. You had a busy day of it, had you? Yes. And what a lovely lady you are for all that adventuring. Good job, Welkies. What? Wait, no, it's not like that. Alicia just saved my skin, that's all. He's right, we just met. I'm not his girlfriend, just his hero. Although I'm really hoping to be his friend. Oh, well I'm sure you will. Be good to my Welkies here, won't you? Okay, seriously Martha, enough with the Welkies already. That's a lovely portrait. Is that General Gunther? Yep. It was taken before I was born. But that's Dad. That's Dad? You're a lucky guy. And who's that with him, there? My father, Tamer. He was an engineer. The General's tank was his creation. Wait a minute. But I thought the General was your dad. My birth parents died when I was a baby. The General was kind enough to take me in as his own after that. Yeah. We're not related by blood, but she's definitely my little sister. Sorry, was that question too personal? No, I don't mind at all. I was blessed with two wonderful fathers. Yeah, I guess you were, huh? Oh, is that really the time? I've got to get going. Why don't you see her off, Welks? I can take care of the rest of this on my own. All right, I will. I'll be right back. See you later, Isara. Safe travels. New episode has been added. Chapter 1 in defense of Brule, Windmill Tower. You this episode? Yes. Wow, look at this. Brule's really becoming a ghost town. They've been leaving for a while. Just about everyone is evacuated by now. I can't blame them. Tensions are rising with the Empire. We'll survive. The Town Watch will guard and protect the home front. Everyone will come back someday. They'll come back when it's safe again, right? Mm -hmm. So, Welkin, I'm curious. Are you gonna join the army like your father? Hmm. I don't think that's for me. What I'd really like to do is be a teacher. Huh. A teacher? Yeah. Animals and insects, flowers and plants, they've always been my passion. I've learned a lot from nature. You see, my dad, he protected this country as a general, but it's just that I, I want to give back in my own way, my own way, you know what I mean? 
I think I do. You're sure about it? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's deep in your own way. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm? Ah! Huh. What was that? That sound. Evil guys look like Nazis. <laughs> Shame we can't place them. Okay, they look cool. I don't believe it. The mill. Okay. Miss Melchior, the Imperials are attacking. There's a squad of them in town right now. Get all the town watch together now. We've got to fend them off. They must be at Mill Plaza. I'll help. Thanks, Welkin. Now move out. Stay low. Right, so we'll fight these guys. Defend the town. A new episode has been added. Run in defense of Brule. Defense of Brule. Yeah, we'll go immediately to this episode. This episode, yes. I'll explain the mission. All right. Enemies invaded the windmill pa plaza and has taken almost the entire area over. We'll deploy from this position. Blue one. Uh, yeah. Hide behind sandbags for cover as you advance toward the plaza. Our goal this time is to eliminate the enemy leader. Pretty sure they'll be there in the plaza area. Be careful. Maybe enemy units hiding uh, behind the buildings out there. Hidden enemies won't show up in the command mode view, so be careful as you make your advance. Okay. Victory, the enemy leader is defeated. Failure, Vulcan dies, Alicia dies, or 20 turns pass. So it's on a time limit, I don't really like that. I, I would have preferred if, if it was only the Vulcan dies and Alicia dies failures, but you need to win before 20 turns has passed. Okay. Never okay, liked let's time begin. Limits. It's up to us to defend Brule. All right, let's do it. I always prefer playing the bad guys, but anyway, we will play the good guys in this game. Our target is the Imperials in Mill Plaza. Focus on taking down their captain. Breaking the chain of command should at least buy some time for the townspeople to get away. All right, I got it. Let's all be careful out there. do it got a second listen close and I'll explain but damage set amount of damage a unit has sustained is healed in each turn the unit has taken heavy damage don't push them stay back and heal up should enemy attacks drive a unit's health uh, hit points to zero the condition becomes critical in this battle you have no way of helping a unit in critical condition Try to fight carefully so no one's uh, hit points reaches zero. Okay. We will move the soldier first, the town watchman. Makes sense to move the ground first. When a unit sights an enemy in action mode, sight line will appear over his or her head. Okay. <coughs> I see. Uh, that line connects the unit to the enemy, meaning that line points in, in the dire direction of the enemy's location. Okay. Use it as a guide when attacking or when trying to position your units in a spot where they'll be safe from enemy attacks. Okay. Let's move 
down immediately. I need to. But attacking enemies using the L1 or R1 buttons while in target mode will automatically lock on to the next enemy within firing range. That's good. Crosshairs will turn red when a unit aiming at an enemy has a clear line of sight on their target. It's the guideline that extends from the gun and firing near obstacles to see if they are blocking the shot. Okay. That line is interrupted, it means the unit's attacks will be blocked. Okay. Uh, to kill two. When the crosshairs are on an enemy, attacking unit's weapon specifications appear at the top of the screen. BS Pierce shows damage against human targets. BS Armor shows damage against tanks and armor. Okay. Symbol will indicate the effectiveness against different types of targets. Uh, so, uh, Circle will indicate the weapon is effective against that type of target. Okay. Triangle indicates the weapon can only give slight damage. X means that the weapon is ineffective against that type of target. Area shows whether the attack will damage a broad area, and the shots shows the number of rounds fired per, per each attack. Okay. Kill is the number of shots that need to, be to connect in order to defeat the target. Okay. In this case, of the five rounds fired, two must hit to defeat this enemy unit. Okay. This number only takes shots that hit the, the center of the crosshairs into account. Misses or hits to other areas of the target are not taken into account of this number. This provides an estimate you can use when selecting a target and can be used to line up headshots and critical attacks. Okay. Missed some of the shots there. Good. Face. Here we go. Right, we'll control the main character now. Welcome. And Hot fuck, decided. you're not supposed to. Jesus Christ. Instead of taking cover, he decides to jump over the fence. We'll attack this guy. We'll probably die if you attack him now. We have to be careful so we. Miss this time. Ah, oh, fuck, you missed anyway. Okay. So I can say that this game is more uh, expensive than the PSP titles. It has a larger area where you fight and uh, some map and everything, but I'm disappointed at that. Uh, White area on the screen. I don't remember that being an issue in, in the PSP title. You see the, the, the map looks so small when it's surrounded by a white square like this. Okay. Click on uh, I can check our character on triangle. No, we won't. So good. <coughs> this time he needs to die. Good. Took him out. fire when the enemy is in range, even on their face. That's realistic. Good that he took cover there. So he could uh, move down it even further. Defense. Enemy moves. 
moving. Okay, player face. We'll control turn watch first. face again. I want to be a little bit more careful. They're hard to hit and they are that covered. Now. Good, it took him out. Very good. There, but we can't do any more this time. Let's move Velkin now. Ready to go. Oh, 
Fire at once, both of the characters and the enemy arrives. They are both in range, that's very good. We won against that one too. Did we win now? In the second game we needed to, you know, take the plaza to win. This game, I, I'm not sure. Maybe we need to do that here too. Move forward with the soul there. Oh, more so uh, enemies. Okay, we can take a look at the area. Ah, someone has a machine gun. That's dangerous. Right, you're done. So our soldiers look a little bit like Frenchmen from World War II. They looked a little bit like Youngs. Okay. My turn, Move okay. Alicia next. French didn't have any cool uniforms in my opinion. But anyway. might have an enemy on this side too. Yeah, they do. Missed with two shots, not good. Take a while until I get used to that stuff. Come face and move Belkin. Here we go. Guy, get closer to him. All right, he failed. Let's take him out. He's done. He didn't really hurt us at all. Let's end the face again. Now we played more than an hour. One hour ten minutes. About uh, about one hour ten minutes. Like, let's end the current phase, yes. The enemy phase. Good, they easily took them out when they were together, a team. I like how they fired once, everyone. I don't believe they do that in the, in the second game. the defensive faces. What's that? Sounds like a tank. Face. Shit, do they have tanks now? They do. Shit. They look badass, these tanks. Tank. 
That's not good. We're not equipped to take out a tank. I hate to say it, but we should probably pull out for now. Get off this road and into the alley to the east. It's too narrow for a tank to follow. And try to stay behind cover while moving. One blast from that turret and it's over. Alright. Belkin reaches the destination, means victory. Failure, Belkin dies, Alicia dies, at Phantasms. Need to retreat. Not sure exactly where we are, but to retreat. We are about to go here. I think we should go there. We need to pass the tank. Okay. We'll use the town watchman. And uh, L1. Very dangerous. You might okay. actually get the game over. Yeah. Fucking shit. and still be alive we need to go here we need to pass this guard somehow they are two soldiers here firing in the tree actually and then we have the tank too light tank this is almost dead Unit list. Light tank. Cool. Checking out. Titan R84. Okay, total health po hit points. Okay. No, we won't end. Don't like the invisible walls. Okay. Here we go. So, uh, Jesus Christ. Tank is firing at me too. Good, we took that guy out. Yes. I don't think we'll survive this, unfortunately. <sighs> Fuck, we lost. Sorry, everyone. I don't think I can. Game over. This was the 
difficult the first time I play. Uh, try the current battle from the beginning. Uh, okay. Uh, so I think we'll click there. Load save date from previous. Yeah. Ah, so we could save. I haven't saved the game. We'll try that, then we'll start from the beginning. Let's click there and see exactly where we start. If it's from the absolute beginning or if it's from the beginning of the tank stuff. We'll see. Player face. Looks like we will start from the very beginning. Our target is the Imperials in Mill Plaza. Focus on taking down their captain. Breaking All the right. chain of command should at least buy some time for the townspeople to get away. All right, I got it. Let's all be careful out there. This was actually difficult, unlike the second game where I beat several missions without problems, but it didn't have tanks. Uh, so that will be really troublesome to get past the tank without dying because they they um, reduce my health a lot when I go there try to pass them okay but we will end the episode here thank you for watching and see you in the next episode of this game I will try to be more active with uploading gameplay videos we'll see if I will, if, if I will succeed or not okay thank you for watching bye